Hey guys, Prick here. Today I'm going to be showing you the new map area. The name of it is Einlore or the Elven Gates. The update came out supposedly on the 11th? No, it came out on like the 17th. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll see you there. It's over by Mitar, so we're going to go ahead and head over there. Alright, we're here at the Mitar entrance. Now all we need to do is go on the one below Mitar. And we arrive at Einlor. So basically, you start off here. I'll go I'll start off and give you the build that I'm using. So I'm using a spider's claw and an Uldred's piece. That's just because of the lightning damage that it has. And I also use this for dragon as well, so it's kind of a double whammy. Um here are the runes that I'm using. Uh, I just really need this uh, lightning damage rune. But yeah, so the, the only thing you really need in this is lightning damage. You could use a night guard with, um, with some good lightning damage since the max is 63. And that's enough to beat the mobs here. But I just used a spider's claw because I had one. So... I'll show you the top, so it's a pretty large map area, uh, once you go past this bridge you meet both these guys, they'll give you a bunch of quests, but after you finish all that you'll be able to craft rings, rings give health and lightning resist or health and lightning damage. And then you also have this well, so the well is the portion that you go down um, and start fighting mobs, I'll show you that in a little bit. And then if you run all the way right, you get Ore of Light. And that's one of the things that you need to do quests for. So I guess this is a little heads up. Uh, also, Ore of Light is used to craft the Lightning Damage uh, Ring. So you can also use that. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this. All right, we're here at the little cave that you get Ore of Light from. It The Ores of Light have... A 24 hour respawn timer so I can't really um, mine them now but you just mine them with your sword there isn't any specific uh, pickaxe that you need or anything to mine it so that's good other than that that's all for the top of Einlor I'll run back now all right we're back here at the people that get rings so right past the first or second bridge that you get and now we're going to go down through the well. This is where you fight all the mobs that you need to in Einlor. So you start off with these Dark Venom guys that give you Dark Marble. As of now, the only thing that you need Dark Marble for is to finish one of the quests. So I wouldn't really stress too far on it. But um, yeah. Uh, if you go left, you go into this room with these uh, Deadly Mold guys. Um those guys don't really drop anything but uh this is a tree that drops you uh leaves let's see if i can find them yeah so leaf of light you get these from this tree it's a 24 hour respawn timer uh they don't have it down here yet but it, it is a 24 hour respawn timer it does respawn so and that's it for the left of right under the well and then we're gonna go ahead and Oh, okay, so get out, to get out of the well, all you have to do is just find this part, and you could go back up. So, if you ever want to get out of the well, that's how you do that. And now, to go right, this is where most of the bulk is. Um, fight more deadly molds, or whatever, molds, however you want to call them. I don't really care. They don't drop anything good, it's just 40 XP. So, go through those guys. Nothing in this room. And you fight these red guys. Corrupted Fangs. Uh, 100 XP. So pretty good XP if you do want to stay down here. It's a 2 minute some second uh, respawn if you have VIP. So those are good. Uh, but one other thing if you're looking to get XP. Um, is some guys later in this dungeon. So I'll show you those guys. You get more Dark Venoms over here. And once you open this uh, open this little thing with the sigil, you can go up. But let's just make sure that we have nothing left to explore. Okay, we don't. Um, 
you know, so you go up this little thing and you get these guys, these shadow bike guys, they give 250 XP each with the same respawn timer, two minutes, something seconds. If you have VIP a little bit longer, if you don't, uh, so those are a really good source of XP if you want them to get the ring or whatnot, if you're level 90 or something. Uh, but if you go left, there's nothing. This is kind of the spot that you go to if you first start off in Einlor. So you just get dropped into this place and then you run right and then you face the uh, the shadow bites immediately. So uh, yeah, that's that. Let's see. Once you run all the way right, then you go outside. Nothing to the left. But uh, this is where you start facing all the different trolls. So this dark portal sends you back to the start where the other regular portal is that you enter. And then you get the corrupted troll. So I don't know if you saw that. Um, I don't know if you saw those stats. But yeah. Uh, they're not too significant. But they're uh, resistant to everything else other than lightning. Which is why we're using lightning. So. Uh, let's go further in and you have two options to run right or go through these little archways. We're going to go through the archways just to show nothing to the left and we'll just run right. And then you get to face troll berserkers, which are these big guys. Uh, they have 25 uh, lightning resist. So you're going to want, um, good amount of lightning for that. And they have lightning damage, so if you have lightning resist, you can use it, but it's not really required if you have a decent build. Um, other than that, that's all there is for this little end. I'll just show as I go. You get more troll berserkers over here, but um, yeah, there's nothing else on this side. You don't get any different mobs other than troll berserkers. So we'll run back. All right, we're back here at the archways. Now we're gonna run right immediately. So this is where you face the end game boss. Uh, there are usually troll berserkers here, but the spawns are a little bit messed up as of now. So just expect some troll berserkers around this respawn timer over here. And then once you hit these archways, you're gonna face the troll war chiefs, which have a lot more lightning resist they have 50 so you're going to want to watch out for those guys they have 200 wind damage so if you have wind resist you can't use that but if you have a decent build with life steal then you don't need it and here are the archways um just a little tip both all these archways have two different kinds of symbols at the top so uh just deduce kind of which thing to put in the archway to solve the quote-unquote riddle and we'll just keep on running. This looks like a summoner's wall as uh, as shown at like around the dragon. So I expect it to be doing something later in the future. But after you open up the archways, you get to the boss. And the boss's name is Sambor or something. Something weird like that. This is what he looks like. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the build that you need to beat him. It is a crit build, crit hammer build specifically, because I don't believe that the night guard can beat him. So we're going to go ahead and face him. It's pretty cool. Cool looking dude. Sumbior. And we beat him. So three hour, 45 minute respawn timer. Um, uh, that's on VIP, so I'm not really sure what it is without VIP. Otherwise, that's really it. You got this blood marble here that respawns, and that's kind of it. So, uh, that's Einlor. There's a bunch to the story, and I'm sure I'll be making a walkthrough later in the future, but I just wanted to show you guys this. I'll put out a video about how to beat Sumbior in the future. In the near future probably do it right after this so uh yeah that's pretty much it other than that if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i'll see you later